Well, the name football team started the season 0-2 and then went on the road and beat dual county league powerhouse Bedford. Now the Naps are preparing to go into the playoffs with a lot of confidence. They're taking on Doherty, but they have that confidence right now. And it all started, that all roll started with the big win on the road over the Buccaneers. Yeah, we, we're definitely hitting our stride right now. We're playing hard, practicing hard every day. I think it's all hard here at Holy Name, and we all, we all got it. Oh, every game is experience, and we're more experienced now. We're ready for what's coming. Oh, that win, you know, that one just turned off the whole team. You know, after that win, we just started getting hope and all that. So, you know, we started winning and all that. We started practicing as a team. We started listening to the coaches more, and, you know, it just game more for us. Um, I think when we went to Bedford, we knew that we go 0-3, we're not making the playoffs. So we really came together and said, you know, it's either do or die. So we went out there, just played as hard as we could, and just finally figured out what we are and, you know, who's ready to play this season. All right, so Holy Name taking on Doherty this Friday night. As for Doherty, the Highlanders are ready for the rematch with Holy Name in the D4 semis. Doherty preparing for a physical, hard-hitting affair. It's about city bragging rights as well as moving on in the playoffs. We got to play physical if we really want to beat them. You know, we know we're gonna come, they're going to come out running the ball, and we just got to beat them there. If they try to run through the middle, we got to clog the middle. Got to fill the alleys outside, too. Uh, these, uh, these inner city games, they're always the best. It's really intense because we, we all know each other. We've all grown up with each other. So when we see each other on the field, we know we got to go hard just out of respect for each other. I think uh, Holy Name is the definition of a central Massachusetts team. Um, it's a lot of run hill, uh, run hill, downhill, heavy run. And you have one of the best running backs in CMAS and Kevin Mensa, so we're going to have a good game. Yeah, you know what? It should be a good game. It is Holy Name, Doherty, the General's Den, Foley Stadium, Commerce Bank Field, Friday night. We will have all the highlights for you coming up on the Frenzy. Huge win, a thriller for Holy Cross over the weekend. Holy Cross taken on Bryant. First quarter after Holy Cross fumbled the opening kickoff. Luke Ford coming up with a big interception in the defense, bailing out Holy Cross early on. This could have been a completely different game. After a block punt, Bryant in great field position again. Damian Baker, the freshman, stepping up. He picks it off at the five-yard line. And the purple and white D standing tall yet again. Still in the first quarter on the option, Brendan Flaherty takes it, takes it into the end zone. Holy Cross has a 7-0 lead. After Bryant scored to make it 7-6, Khalif Raymond. Taking the ensuing kickoff and just taking off. Look at Raymond go. He is flying past the Bryant defenders. 86 yards on the kickoff return for the touchdown. 14 to 6. Saders in front. Holy Cross led 24 20 at the half. Third quarter. 26 24. Bryant in front. Charles Wingate. Pick six. Takes the interception 50 yards back for the touchdown. Bryant has a 33 24 lead. Fourth quarter, still 33-24, Bryant, Puyals to Raymond. Great effort to get into the end zone for the touchdown, 33-31, Holy Cross down by two. 13 seconds left in the game. Connor Fitzgerald, 31-yard field goal attempt for the win. He has got it, Holy Cross takes a thriller, 34 to 33. A lot of mistakes in the first half, and the defense was able to make a lot of turnovers, which was, which was good. And uh, we ended up not doing what we wanted to in the third quarter. But um, fortunately enough, we stuck to it and uh, showed a lot of resilience with our team. The defense does a great job stopping them when they need to. And we had some guys make plays. And uh, it's great to win a close one. It's, it's not just this year. Actually, uh, my whole career at Holy Cross, I'm a senior now, it's been a lot of close games. And uh, actually against Bryant last Two years ago, we ended up losing uh, by one point and had an opportunity to win it at the end. So it's nice to be on the winning end of this. I'm sure the guys in the locker room are all excited. So uh, it's re really fun. All right, certainly fun when you win. And when you win in thrilling fashion at home, it doesn't get much better than that. So Holy Cross is on the road this Saturday. They are at Lehigh. Three games left for the Satyrs. All are Patriot League games. Blackstone Valley Tech girls soccer against Greater New Bedford. This is for the state vocational championship. First half, scoreless game. Caroline Porter 
for BVT with a shot just wide. More from BVT. Shannon Kelly. Bear it in for the Beavers. Shannon Kelly ripples the twine. one nothing. BVT in front. More Blackstone Valley Tech. Peyton Linehan breaking in. Linehan beyond the defense. Chases it down. Could control the ball. Linehan well played shot. She's got a goal and BVT has a 2-0 lead. Greater New Bedford on the throw in. Kelsey Clark, the header near side. That's a goal. Greater New Bedford's on the board. It's a 2-1 game. Another throw in. Clark with the header, but BVT's Katie Housekeeper with the save. BVT on the free kick. Physical play in front. And New Bedford's Courtney Sorares clearing it away. And out of danger, New Bedford's Riley Avilia. Hammer time from outside the 18. Missile for the top corner. Ties the game up at two, but Blackstone Valley Tech comes back, and they are your state vocational champions. Congratulations to the BVT girls soccer team. They win it five to two, your final today. So we're getting ready this week. Starts the playoffs for high school soccer and field hockey, and then the football playoffs start on Friday. It's an exciting time around here, and of course the election tomorrow night. Awesome. Well, that is our show tonight. Like Kevin said, we have the election night tomorrow night, as well as some sports to look forward to. I'm Kayla Mamlack alongside Kevin Shea, and as always, thanks for watching.